On question number five, we are also going to solve an equation by factoring. And again, this comes from lesson nine, two in your notes. And we'll check all the solutions that apply. There's a lot of choices over here. Okay, first notice that this equation is already set equal to zero, but my a value is not one, so I can't use the x method. Let's check if there might be a greatest common factor. Well, two does not divide into 11. So since there's no GCF, and a is not equal to one, we need to use the slide method. So for the slide method, you're gonna take your a term, you're gonna slide it to the end and multiply by c. So I'm gonna do two times negative 40, and then I'm gonna rewrite this as x squared minus 11x, that makes negative 80, so minus 80 equals zero. And now we've just turned it into something that we can factor with the x method. So now we wanna find two numbers that multiply to negative 80 and add to negative 11. So if you see it, great, go to your answer. If you don't, this is where you can list out your factor pairs. So factors of 80 are one times 80, two times 40. Three does not go into 80, four does 20 times. Five goes into 80 16 times. Six does not divide into 80, neither does seven, um, but eight times 10 makes 80. Now, in order to multiply to a negative 80, we need one of the numbers to be positive and one of the numbers to be negative. And remember, I need to add to a negative 11. So I know my bigger number has to be a negative. Well, let's look for the numbers that are 11 apart. And I see that five and 16 are 11 apart because 16 minus five is 11. However, to add to a negative 11, I need more negatives than positives. So I actually want my negative on the 16. So now my two factors are five and then negative 16. Well, to get our solutions here, now we need to use the idea that at the beginning with slide, when you multiply by A, now we have to undo that multiply by A by dividing by A. So I'm going to divide each of these by 2, and then I'm going to simplify the results. So 5 divided by 2 is already simplified. Negative 16 divided by 2 is negative 8. So now my two factors are x plus 5 over 2 and x minus 8. And it's factored now and set to 0. I know technically if I was factoring this, I would take the denominator of my fraction and slide it up. However, when you're solving with the x with the slide method, you're going to end up just getting the same thing. So you can actually leave it as a fraction, and then you only have a one-step equation. Now if we just subtract 5 over 2 on each side, we get our first answer, x equals negative 5 over 2. And I can find that in my choice right here, so I'm just going to check that. And then for my second answer x minus 8 equals 0. If we just add 8 on each side, we get x equal 8. So that is the second answer, and you'll also check that.